Welcome to Green Carpet. Irfan Khan is a widely celebrated and loved actor in India and the rest of the world. He is known for bringing realism to his every character. Today we are talking about 11 Irfan Khan films you hardly knew about. Number 1, The Warrior. Released in 2001, directed by Asif Kapadia. Irfan plays a warlord warrior in ancient India who is sent to massacre a village behind in their taxes. suffers a crisis of conscience and laying down his sword sets off to the himalayas in search of peace irfan's performance as a fierce rajasthani warrior will give you a glimpse into the feudalism in ancient india and how he suffers between the call of duty and human conscience which forces him to face his fate even as he tries hard to escape it the film gave him global recognition and film won bafta for best british film in 2003 number 2 Kali Salwar released in 2002 another of Irfan's lesser known yet memorable performances Irfan played Shankar in Prithvi Mehta's Kali Salwar based on the renowned author Saadat Hasan Mantol's story Irfan as Shankar comes with a breath of fresh air in this voyeuristic play out Shankar's wit and charm will guide you through a realist representation of life and society as it existed then and as it evolves into new shapes now Number 3 Dhund the Fog released in 2003 directed by Sham Ramzi in this below average thriller film Irfan stands out playing the antagonist who is a deadly serial killer Irfan plays Ajit Khurana gets murdered by the protagonist and later returns from the dead to seek revenge Number 4 Shadows of Time released in 2004 directed by German director Florian Goldenberger Film is a tragic love story of Ravi and Masha who met 50 years ago as teenagers in a carpet factory near Calcutta. Film stars Tanishtha Chatterjee as Masha, Prashant Narayan as Ravi, Irfan Khan as Yani and Tilottma Shom as Deepa. Irfan yet again gives an appealing performance as a custom officer in the film. Number 5, Sanegodu, released in 2006. While almost everyone is familiar with Irfan's work in Hindi cinema and Hollywood, Not many know that he played the antagonist in the Telugu movie Sanikuru that featured Mahesh Babu in the lead. The film directed by Guna Sekhar was a politically charged actioner that saw him play the role of a goon with nefarious intentions and give Tollywood a taste of his abilities. Sanikuru received decent reviews from the target audience and clicked with Prince fans. It however did not do too well at the box office. Post this Irfan decided to consolidate his career in Hindi cinema and refrain from doing Telugu movies. Number 6, A Mighty Heart. Released in 2007, Jolly and Irfan collaborated on Michael Winterbottom's 2007 film about US journalist Daniel Pearl who was killed in Pakistan in 2002. She played the role of Pearl's widow Marianne, while Irfan appeared as Ishan Kaka. The Chief of Karachi Police. The film and Irfan received critical acclaim globally. Number 7, The Dazzling Limited, also released in 2007. This comedy directed by Wes Anderson stars Owen Wilson, Adrian Brody and Schwartzman as three estranged brothers who agree to meet in India a year after their father's funeral. Irfan has a relatively small yet noticeable role in the film. During the course of their adventures the three leads rescue three young boys from drowning but one passes away. They bring the body to the village and Irfan plays the dead boy's father. They attend the funeral and that takes them to the memory to their own father's funeral. It makes them visit their mother who has become a nun living in a convent in the Himalayas and the family enjoys a brief moment of reconciliation. Number 8 New York I Love You released in 2009 this episodic film has some 11 directors and a multitude of actors offering stories that reflect on the multiculturalism of New York Irfan Khan acts in the section directed by Meera Nair which stars him and Natalie Portman both plays diamond merchants she is a Hasidic Jewish diamond broker Rifka and Irfan Khan is her supplier Mansukh Bai a devout Jain from India She has beautiful hair which he admires and in between the business banter she confides that she is going to cut all her hair before her wedding as required by her faith. He is a little taken aback by that 
but confides that this practice is heard of in India as well, as people offer their hair to God as a mark of devotion. It's a tender piece containing a variety of emotions and one that should have got a full-length treatment. Number 9. No Bed of Roses, released in 2017, directed by a Bangladeshi director Mustafa Sarwar Farooqi. Irfan Khan's star No Bed of Roses, which was once banned in Bangladesh, was chosen as the country's official entry for the Academy Awards 2019. Film stars Irfan, also its co-producer, as a successful filmmaker facing a midlife crisis when he has a tryst with his daughter's childhood friend, causing a national scandal. Number 10. The Song of Scorpions, also released in 2017, directed by Anoop Singh. Deadly scorpion bites are a problem in the rural villages of the Thar Desert, which is why the healing powers of Noora, played by Farahani, are so sought after. Taught by her grandmother Zubeda, played by the legendary actress Fahida Rahman, to use the power of song to coax the poison out. Noora has a reputation for haughtiness which largely stems from a projection of independence. Camel trader Adam, played by Irfan Khan, is besotted. Adam admires Noora from a distance, the shimmering sandy hillocks often standing formidably in the way of his love. And when he finally gathers the courage to profess his affection, a series of unfortunate incidents plays spoil spot. He gets beaten up, his camels are stolen and his own anger turns into an Othello-like retributory reaction. And finally, number 11, Puzzle. Released in 2018, directed by an American director, Mark Turtletaub. This remake of the Argentine film Rompe Cabezas, 2009, centers around a bored housewife named Agnes, played by Callie McDonald, who discovers that her passion for completing jigsaw puzzles offers a way out of her humdrum life. Ifan Khan plays a wealthy, eccentric inventor, Robert, who is intrigued by her unorthodox ways of puzzle solving. He makes her life and the duo are content to spend long hours in each other's company. His charisma, his sense of humor attracts her and they end up sleeping together. They kind of complete each other and their bond helps her come out of her shell. Though in the end she decides not to be with him when he calls her to Brussels for an international championship, choosing to go her own way. Irfan got a lead role in a mainstream American film and his and Kelly McDonald's chemistry was much lauded by the critics.